So it's my pleasure to announce uh, the next speaker of uh, this session, Professor Sharpushnikova, and uh, uh, the talk will be on a strange no local monotone operator arising in the homogenization of a diffusion equation with dynamic nonlinear boundary conditions on particles free, precise, and arbitrary shape. So please, uh, 20 minutes plus. Thank you very much. Um, the first, I would like to say thank you very much to organizers. Sorry? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I will try. Uh, thank you very much to organizers of this uh, wonderful conference dedicated to greet uh, mathematician Olga uh, Alexander Ladizhinska, the, great, uh, the greatest mathematician of the 20th century. Uh, it is a uh, very a pleasure to me to take part in this conference. Uh, I, I, I will try to give some last result, uh, which uh, we obtained uh, in collaboration with Professor uh, Diaz and uh, Maria Zubova. Uh, in my talk, uh, we will consider the Poisson equation in bounded domain, uh, periodically perforated, uh, by small, uh, small uh, particles or holes, uh, so small that the di diameter of these uh, sets uh, is a so-called critical, has critical value. Uh, and these uh, uh, particles distributed in periodical sense along to the whole volume. In that domain, uh, we consider the Poisson equation uh, and on the boundary of the particles, uh, we have, um, we have uh, dynamical uh, nonlinear uh, boundary condition. Uh, because, because the diameter of our particles is critical and uh, all parameters uh, have so-called critical values, uh, then uh, we have the usual, the typical situation that in the limit homogenized problem, uh, we obtain some new, uh, new unexpected term, which really obtained from special uh, boundary conditions. And this and, and new term in our problem uh, will be represented by non-local, uh, non-linear monotone operator H, uh, which is uh, uh, Lipschitz continuous independently of regularity of uh, the uh, original non-linear term which represent by function sigma. Uh, you um, consider this problem, we have two goals. One of them uh, to extend all the results which we have in our previous works on uh, the, uh, on, on such nonlinear uh, non term sigma, which is Helder continuous function. Because, uh, because this problem uh, appeared uh, in uh, chemical engineering, then uh, in, in the models, uh, the function sigma has, uh, sorry, uh, uh, has, uh, has typical, has typical is a builder function. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, has the form uh, some positive constant uh, sigma zero times on u in the power gamma and gamma between zero and one. And the second goal of our uh, consideration was to show that independently of the regularity of this function sigma, in a homogenized problem, we have a new uh, nonlinear term represented by this operator is a Lipschitz continue operator. 
the same reply will be also not not only for for Wilder sigma, uh, but the, the same result is uh, true for uh, maximum monotone graph, for example. Uh, now let n uh, more or equal three and omega be a bounded domain we denote by uh, omega epsilon uh, wave uh, the internal part of our domain uh, this is a set of points x belongs to omega such that distance between x and the boundary more uh, than two epsilon we denote by uh, y the unit cube and we can see the uh, subdomain in this unit cube we denote by g0 and g0 is, is a star shape with respect to some ball t0 rho um, uh, then uh, then we use typical uh, notation delta b uh, this is a lot, uh, this is a uh, set of points x uh, such that delta to minus one x belongs to b and we denote uh, the particles with number j j this is a, a vector with uh, integer coordinates uh, g j epsilon is equal epsilon to a, a, a epsilon g zero plus epsilon j we contract our uh, subdomain G0 and translate it on the vector epsilon J. Uh, we do the same with, uh, with the cube Y. We contract and translate on the same vector. The all particles which, which belong to which which belongs compactly to our domain omega we denote by G uh, by G epsilon. Uh, we will suppose that the period of our structure is epsilon and the coefficient of contraction a epsilon is equal c0 times epsilon to the gamma and gamma more one so we have a, a set of small uh, particles uh, distributed in epsilon periodical sense over uh, all domain omega Uh, uh, now let us introduce omega epsilon uh, so we uh, this uh, this domain we called perforated domain or domain uh, from we sweep out uh, a set of particles g epsilon the boundary of these particles we denote by uh, s epsilon uh, we denote of our domain omega epsilon this is a unit of S epsilon and the boundary of omega also we introduce a, a cylinder qt epsilon like that uh, this is a, a lateral a lateral surface or the boundary of particles and this is lateral uh, lateral sur surface of the cylinder uh, Omega times on zero t. Uh, so we have. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, yeah. On the previous slide, what is in the first line? What is ah, this yes, thing? Yes. Uh, this is a number of particles. Ah, okay. This is a number of, part okay, of particles. Okay. So we have the picture like that. Uh, only it necessary to imagine that this these particles is very small and the, the diameter is equal a epsilon and this is epsilon in this uh, problem in, in this domain uh, we consider the following problem we consider the Poisson equation uh, where t is a parameter for this equation and we have the dynamical dynamical boundary a non-linear condition this is non-linear term sigma on u epsilon on the boundary of particles uh, it, typical uh, in, uh, in in practice models is, it, it means that on the boundary of particles we have some chemical reaction on the boundary of uh, our cylinder on d on d omega 
we have the Dirichlet uh, boundary condition and we have uh, the initial uh, zero initial condition on the boundary of uh, particles. Uh, uh, please let us note that gamma here, uh, here we have uh, a large parameters, epsilon to the power minus gamma and gamma more than uh, one. And, uh, uh, and for this problem, we will consider only one, uh, one situation when gamma is equal uh, n over n minus two. This is a critical value for this parameter gamma. Uh, we will suppose that F belongs to this uh, Hilbert space. G is, is a function on the right hand side of the uh, dynamical boundary condition belongs to this space. Ah, so here. Uh, I told all, all, already, but uh, I, I repeat uh, several words. Uh, sigma u, this is typical in the uh, practic um, problems, uh, is equal sigma zero times u to the, to, to the alpha and alpha between zero and and the one. This is uh, the main uh, reason why why we decided to extend our results to uh, further uh, continuous function uh, sigma. But uh, but uh, as we see, uh, independently of the regularity of of this function sigma, in um, homogenized problem we will have a Lipschitz continuous new uh, nonlinear term. Uh, what oh. do you mean uh, Lipschitz behavior? I, I, will, I, will, I will show okay. uh, later, a little later. Uh, so we will, uh, we will uh, suppose about sigma that is a further continuous function like that. And this is uh, non decreasing and sigma on zero is equal to zero. Uh, we consider uh, the strong solution of uh, our problem one. It means that we consider function u epsilon belong to this space, such that derivative with respect to t belong to this space. Sigma on u epsilon belongs to the same, and the u epsilon on x uh, zero is equal to zero on the boundary of particles and the integral identity uh, valid, uh, the integral identity is six, um, holds uh, for any function v of this space. The first theorem uh, give us the, the existence and uniqueness of the strong solution of this problem, and also the uniform estimation. Uh, uh, here we have uh, two, two estimate, uh, estimates. Uh, first estimate, uh, uh, you, you see, does not, uh, we see that uh, the sigma, that the Kölder uh, function sigma does not influence on this estimate. It is important only the monotonicity of this function. But uh, this uh, function uh, alpha uh, appeared here. Um, uh, this uh, function sigma and uh, it's uh, and uh, the uh, it's called that continuous uh, influence on the estimate of uh, derivative with respect to t. Uh, it is uh, well known that uh, exists a linear extension operator with the, the node p epsilon with such uh, properties like this inequality. And using the um, theorem one and this uh, inequality, we uh, deduce that uh, P epsilon, U epsilon belongs to the ball in this Hilbert space. K is a constant that does not depend on epsilon. So for some uh, subsequence, we have uh, a weekly convergence of P epsilon, U epsilon to some function U zero in this space. And uh, the main goal of homogenization is to describe 
uh, his, uh, give some character characteristic of some, uh, this function u zero. So uh, to to formulate the main the main result, I uh, I like to introduce uh, the main operator uh, which uh, we denote by H. It is an operator, nonlinear operator, uh, from this space to, to the same space. And uh, it's uh, defined in the following uh, way. Uh, for any function phi, uh, phi belongs to this space, uh, we define the value of this operator on this function in, uh, in the following uh, formula, nine. Uh, lambda g zero, lambda g zero. Uh, this is a uh, standard capacity of this uh, domain g zero, and uh, minus integral over the boundary of our particle of some fun of a normal derivative of some function w wave uh, phi. Uh, we depend on x, uh, y, and t. And this uh, thesis function is a solution uh, is a solution of an exterior problem like uh, like that like that. Let us consider exterior problem. It is necessary to find uh, for for any for any this is a family of problems uh, because we take a, an arbitrary function phi. And we construct a solution of this problem. We have the exterior problem uh, with, again, with nonlinear boundary, dynamic boundary condition on the boundary of uh, particle. Uh, we have the zero uh, initial condition on the boundary of our uh, domain uh, of our particle, and uh, with such condition on the infinity. X here is a parameter. For this problem, X is a parameter. And, and phi also, function phi also is a parameter function. And, uh, sorry, and uh, we have here function K on Y and K is a standard um, harmonic capacity function. This is a solution of this exterior problem. Uh, I I have to I have to say about uh, several uh, properties of this uh, solution of this exterior problem because uh, using these uh, properties we can uh, we can uh, derive uh, important properties uh, for the operator H. Uh, First, uh, first theorem give us the uh, existence and the uniqueness of the exterior nonlinear problem, uh, and the uh, and the series of estimations. Like that, this is also one uh, one estimation important. Uh, then, then uh, we uh, show that this function, uh, with respect to phi, is a Lipschitz, Lipschitz continuous function. I mean that the this estimate is um, um, valid. Uh, uh, so, so. Uh, it is uh, it, it is useful to uh, to have uh, some point wise uh, estimation like that for the solution of exterior problem like here and also if we consider this uh, solution of this, uh, as, as a function dependent on the right hand side uh, function uh, j which we have on the right hand side of the boundary, the dynamic boundary condition. Then we have, if we, if we take different, two different functions from this space, then we have such estimation. Let us remark that if G0 is a ball, 
uni ball centered at the origin. Then this function we can find explicitly like that. We can find this function is in such form. Then we obtain for this uh, function h phi the Cauchy problem for ordinary the differential equation. And if sigma is a linear function, we can solve this problem and to find that h phi uh, has such form. And, 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 and so our operator a, h is equal uh, is equal to such expression and uh, and uh, so we have in we have uh, the uh, operator like memory term now i i would like to uh, formulate some uh, some properties of this strange operator h h is a is a monotone operator in the following sense, like here. H satisfies the grow relation, like here. And H is a Lipschitz continuous operator on L2, a zero T. It means, it means that this, this inequality holds. Uh, now, uh, now I can formulate uh, the main result. Uh, let n more or equal three and a epsilon is equal to C zero times uh, epsilon to the gamma and gamma uh, is equal uh, such fraction. Uh, this is, as I called already, this is a critical value for this problem. And let u epsilon be a strong solution to the problem two. Then the function u0, this is the limit of um, subsequence of p epsilon, u epsilon, weekly, uh, weekly convergence to this function, is a unique weak solution of the family of problems. This family of problems depends on t, <laughs> like that. And here we have strange, strange uh, monotone operator, h on u0, here. This is a new new strand term, such uh, uh, notation was uh, introduced uh, by Chiranes Kamura many years ago. Uh, this is the main result. Uh, in the end of my talk, I'd like to, uh, to say about one small strange situation, uh, which we have with initial, initial condition. Uh, sorry. It's, just a moment. So here, uh, the last the last remark. Let us consider the case of non-zero initial conditions uh, in our problem one. The same problem, only uh, u epsilon on x zero is equal some uh, some function u zero belongs to h zero uh, on omega. Uh, as a limit problem, we have the, the same, the same uh, homogenized problem as before. But uh, let us note that that function u, that function u on x uh, zero is not equal to u zero like here. This function is a solution for the following problem, linear, linear problem like that. So if u zero is equal to zero, even is equal to zero, but f on x zero does not e equal to zero, then u x zero is not equal to zero. This is strange uh, situation for initial initial da uh, datums. Uh, so my talk is finished. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your attention. So thanks a lot for this uh, interesting talk. And uh, if uh, some questions, then please. So, 
if there are no in, questions. In, in, no, in, in fact, I uh, have a, a question, but maybe uh, later. A question about uh, the, uh, uh, the operator of Extension. Extension operator. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So then let's thank the speaker again.